PlayStation fans have been stoked by the possibilities of PSVR. It's set to release in October, and in this video, I'll be going over five things that will make PSVR amazing. Let's get right into this. Number five, not tacking it onto games that don't need it. The issue with a lot of these new peripherals and hardware is that a lot of times the developers almost get a bit too excited and want to use it on everything. When the PlayStation Move was released, you had those controls being tacked onto games such as Killzone 3 and SOCOM 4, titles that no one would want to play with those controls. And it was just a lazy attempt in saying, hey, these games have move support. Every game on the PlayStation 4 will be playable through VR in the cinematic mode, and that's great. But there's no need to add VR-specific sections in a game such as Uncharted or Infamous unless it's naturally woven in there. VR is an exciting piece of tech, but remember, the utilization of it won't make every game great, nor does every game need it. Number 4. Manufacturing enough units This is more one that would be great for the consumer, but I would hate to see something like the Wii again where all the hardware sells out and you've got people selling it back on eBay for twice the retail price. We know that PSVR is going to be a hot ticket item. Sony, please just manufacture enough units for the majority of us to get our hands on it. I know it's pretty hard to gauge what the demand is right now, but considering pre-orders were opened up on Amazon today and they sold out in less than 8 minutes, you at least know that the demand is pretty high. If they don't manufacture enough units, expect VR to be selling for nearly a grand when it's not available in stores this holiday. Number 3, Comfortability. Sony has been saying that VR is the new way to play, that it adds a whole new level of immersion to games and that's great. But one thing that will instantly break immersion is if the hardware isn't comfortable. If we're expected to sit for hours on end and get very immersed into a gaming experience, the hardware needs to feel good and almost be unnoticeable. If you're constantly having to adjust and readjust the headset, it's gonna break the immersion. And VR will become more of a, hey, check out this golf game for a few minutes instead of, hey, get immersed into this vibrant world all in VR. I'm sure that the PSVR will have many revisions throughout the years, and while the initial model may have some imperfections, as long as it's mostly comfortable, I don't think there'll be too many complaints. Number 2, Performance. This is one where Sony really has to convince me. The PlayStation VR is a $400 unit for a $300 console. While to many that sounds grossly expensive, for the type of hardware and experience it's offering, that's actually extremely cheap. Competitors such as the Oculus Rift and HTC Vive cost hundreds more, and then for those, you'll also need an extremely beefy PC costing at least $1,000, maybe more. So where is the trade-off coming with PlayStation VR? It's very apparent that Sony doesn't see VR as just a gimmick for shovelware games. They want to give you really big experience with games such as Gran Turismo Sport and Riggs Mechanized Combat League, and they know that these games have to run at a stable frame rate. If not, then it's just a waste. And if Sony is able to offer great performance at an exceptional price, they will quickly become the king of VR. Number 1. Consistent and quality software support This has always been the issue with Sony releasing hardware for so long. You can go back to the PSP. Initially, there were a wave of great games and then it just tapered off. The PlayStation Move had the same fate. At first, Sony was all behind it, but then they had lost hope and just started tacking it onto games that didn't need it. Even as recently as the PlayStation Vita, you had a slew of amazing games at launch and shortly following, but after a year or two, the platform was all but dead to Sony. The PSVR has a great software lineup coming up with games such as Gran Turismo Sport, Riggs, Golem, Ace Combat 7. There's a lot of quality software coming. This needs to continue on with the entirety of PSVR's existence. It can't just be a wave of good games year one and then a dwindling of software support. It has to be consistent and quality going into year two, three, or even four. Otherwise, the early consumers will be very disappointed and PSVR will be seen as another failed Sony gimmick. So that wraps up 5 things that will make PSVR awesome. What do you think? Do you agree with my list? Do you disagree? Will you be picking up PSVR at launch or do you think that there's not enough games or quality software? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.